is a lesson 19. I mean, lesson 19, it should also be fairly quick because we're getting closer to doing um, the end of the module assessment. And so a lot of the lessons are kind of just to give you that extra support and recognizing things that were kind of taught previously. In lesson 19, what they want you to recognize is again, be, being able to skip count by twos and making those doubles, okay? So we are going to start with the application problem. I'm not going to write it out, show you anything like that. We will just, I will just work through it for you to kind of get you started with this, okay? So it says, eggs come, excuse me, eggs come in cartons of 12, okay, or a dozen. So eggs come in cartons of 12. Joanna's mom used one egg, used pictures, numbers, or words to explain whether, whether the amount left is even or odd, okay? So I know that they come in a carton of 12. There's my little carton of eggs, okay? So if Joanna's mom used one, get rid of an egg, okay? So then I know that 12 minus one gives me 11, okay? So you solved it, but how do you know if it's even or odd, okay? And there are several different ways that you can, that you can explain this. So, so the, I'm gonna say 11 is odd, and then I'm just gonna talk about how I know that. All right, 11 is odd because it ends in one, okay? Odd numbers end in one, three, five, seven, or nine, okay? You could also say that 11 is odd because you can't count by twos to make 11. Or another way you could look, like, look at it is that you can't perfectly pair things up or put things in group, groups and it in groups of two, you would have leftovers, which would make it an odd number, okay? So several different ways that you can look at how to explain whether a number is even or odd, okay? And that is kind of takes us into the problem set. I'm not going to do the first page with you. I think the first page is super simple for you guys to do, um, just to give that re refresher because I mean, counting by twos was something that you guys did in kindergarten, so you guys should all remember how to do that. And that's really all that's happening here, is that you're, number one, you're, you're literally counting by twos, okay? You go two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. So that in kindergarten, right? And then for number two, I think that's number two. Yep, number two, you're just solving, but you're literally making those doubles, okay? So one plus one is two, two plus two is four, and so on, all the way down, okay? Number three asks you to explain it, how number one and number two are similar, or how they're, this, how they're kind of the same types of problems. Well, they're the same because you're skip counting or you're counting by twos, you're making those doubles, okay? If you don't understand that, if the front's super hard for you, let me know. I'll give you some one-on-one -on -one support. But I'm thinking that we should be able to just jump to the back. Okay? So on the back, and the reason I'm doing the back, because the back will help you with your exit ticket. Okay? So on the back, again, for number three, you're just filling in the busy numbers, but you're still skip counting. Okay? So if we go 20, 22, 24, your missing number would be 26, okay, then 28, 30, 32, 34, okay, 36, 38, 
40, 42, 44, 46, 48, up to 50. And we should be able to do that, guys. You guys should definitely be able to skip count by twos. Okay. For B, it says fill in the odd numbers on the number of paths. Well, again, that should be super simple. So if we go zero, one, two, three, five, seven, nine, eleven, thirteen, fifteen, seventeen, nineteen. And 21. Okay. And especially since they gave you those even numbers in there, that should be super simple to fill in those missing ones. Okay. So now it gets a little trickier, but not by much. Okay. You guys should still be able to cir circle whether the bold number is even or odd. Okay. So what they mean by that, on A it says six plus seven, or sorry, six plus one equals seven, okay? So what they're saying is that an even plus one would give you an odd, okay? Or an even plus an odd gives you an odd. That's your answer, okay? So then if we go to B, 24 is even, Plus one gives you 25, 25 would be an odd, okay? So we know an even plus one is gonna give you an odd, so that should be easy. Okay, same thing if we subtract one. You're subtracting an odd from an even, it's gonna give you an odd. Okay, so six is even, minus one, but you're not. Okay, again, if you have questions on that, don't understand that, let me know. I'll give you a little bit more support. Okay. So then finally on the bottom, we should all be able to recognize if it is an even or an odd number. And we're gonna look at the ones place. So for A, I'll underline where your one spot is, okay? For 28, eight would be in your one spot and that's the number you wanna look at. Well, eight is an even number. So that makes the entire number even, okay? But then you have to give an explanation. And I know, words are hard, right? So if we explain it, it has, you're gonna say it has an eight in the ones, or the eight makes it even, either way, okay? Okay, it has eight in the ones. So then you should be able to look at 39. See nine is in the one spot. Recognize that's odd. Same thing, it has nine in the ones. Okay, so for the rest of these, we should be able to fill in. Okay, so 45 would be R because it has a five in the ones. 50 is even because it has a zero in the ones. Okay, again, if you have questions on this, let me know. Okay, but that reason that I did the back is that that takes you right in to and take it. Okay, and again, you're looking at your one spot. So tell me if it's even or odd, and then tell me how you know, okay? Again, if you guys have questions on it, if you need some more support, let me know, okay? Bye guys.